Auckland City, or Tāmaki Makaurau, has a unique landscape which is a result from around 50 volcanic eruptions beginning 140,000 years ago. Preserving our volcanic landscape is a crucial part in maintaining Auckland's cultural heritage. Before European settlement, the mountains were occupied by Māori. Well, it probably wasn't until the 15th century that they were occupied in terms of settlements. Um, before then, uh, everyone was mostly located around the coastlines. They were primarily used for defensive purposes, um, to protect the wealth generated off all of the gardens and, and off the sea. Um, they also uh, became repositories for, for burials as well, so lots of people are still buried on, on those mountains. The living terraces flattened out so people could live, and they are also signals of um, uh, the ingenuity and the, the, I guess the engineering skill of our, of our ancestors as well. Mount Wellington, or Maungarei, meaning Watchful Mountain, is the site of extensive Māori fortifications. Unfortunately, since the 1940s, quarrying for the useful scoria rock became common. This completely destroyed some cones, leaving others partially quarried. The quarrying that you see in front or behind me is largely from the 1940s on. This huge hole in the ground started in the 40s and 50s. It wasn't earlier than that. And of course that has taken the ground level well down as you can see. Now one of the possible benefits of quarrying, and this, this has all been argued in the court, is that the mountain has increased in stature because they've cut at its base, it in fact has made the mountain look higher than it is. The volcanoes represent a raft of values to Auckland City. Obviously there's the iwi value and they are very strong because there's so much remaining. They are also archaeological sites from what the iwi did to them over the years. That's a strong value. Then you've got the open space value that many Aucklanders like to ramble over them. They appreciate them just for the open space. Then of course you have the geological values because as I've said this is only one of seven fields in the world, but this is the only one where there has been a city built on it, both what I call an ancient city back in Maori times and of course the present modern day city. If you have to imagine looking at those mountains for a start, if you want to terrace those, you take wooden implements, wooden tools and you start digging away, you are looking at monumental labour that we're not recognising. And you know, that's what we should be bringing people to see. I think Aucklanders have done a terrible job in um, looking after these mountains. Um, we talk about how great they are and we write in policy about how great they are, but then um, the way we treat them is, uh, is frankly a disgrace. I mean, they're suffering from erosion, from, from grazing, they're managed as farms rather than heritage sites. Uh, recreation as well, we have lots of joggers and orienteers and, and all sorts, all competing for the space. There's unchecked tourism, so the tourism industry is freeloading off the mountains with, without putting anything back. Those histories as well are just absent on those places. Uh, there's over 50 
past sites and volcanoes and um, uh, none of them have a uh, reference to the thousand years of Māori history and heritage on them, um, but instead have trig stations, monuments to um, early settlers, uh, foreign trees and so on, but um, yeah, no reference to, to our history. More volcanic treasures are now being threatened by urban development. This lava cave was formed by the Three Kings eruption around 29,000 years ago. Lava caves are formed when a number of different factors come into play. Basically, you obviously have to have a good flow of lava, and then you need to get the sides of the lava flow, the bottom, the walls, and the roof all cooling down. Meanwhile, the lava in the flow itself is continuing to flow through that system, and at some point up slope, the lava is switched off, and you have no more lava coming through, and the lava in the, in the tube now flows out and exits and leaves a roof and the walls intact, and hopefully the roof doesn't collapse. So it, it's, it's a quite an um, unusual phenomenon, but it does happen quite frequently. There are probably um, 50 or 60 caves in the Auckland field. Most of them are, have been lost for one reason or another through construction or being filled with rubbish um, or being concreted over and that sort of thing, but there'll be other ones that will be discovered uh, through time as well. But they're relatively uncommon features and they're usually quite small features as well. Auckland would be pretty boring uh, without its volcanoes if we didn't have Ringitoto, if we didn't have Mount Eden or One Tree Hill. All these wonderful parks and spaces we have around our volcanoes and um, they really are a major part of our heritage in the Auckland region. There is a growing call for preservation of Auckland's volcanic treasures, beginning with a bid for world heritage status. Council is attempting to have them recognised as World Heritage Sites, um, which to us is kind of ironic in that they're not treated as such. Uh, we put very little money into them. I mean, we throw tens of millions of dollars at um, restoring, um, I guess, colonial buildings and villas and so on, but um, very little money goes into um, Māori heritage in the city. Unfortunately, most Aucklanders and perhaps most New Zealanders don't realise what a world heritage thing this is. Where else in the world were cities built on volcanic cones like this? You've got to cast, just shut your eyes for a moment and visualise them with all the fortifications on them. You're looking at something amazing. Now, I believe there's still enough left in terms of the terracing to visualise and understand what was going on in this landscape and that makes it well worthy of world heritage status because there's nothing else in the world like this. Yeah, we definitely want to see um, Aucklanders empowered by, um, by that sense of history which we hope will then generate a better um, ethic of kaitiakitanga and guardianship of, of these places. <laughs>